how to get Spotify car thing, and everything you need to know about it. But first, for those that don't know, I'll tell you what Spotify car thing actually is. It's a media player that enables you to use voice commands or touch screen, even a big knob that you can turn to select different playlists, songs, albums within Spotify. Now, unfortunately, this is only meant to be used for Spotify only. And yes, it's true. You can get it for free. But unfortunately, as far as that goes, what they have done is limited it to the U.S. only for those that have a premium membership within the Spotify platform. Now, you can go to a list that's carthing.spotify.com and sign up on this list. Now, although they are saying it's free, and technically it is, and valued at $80, it does come with a $6.99 shipping charge. Now, if you're in um, Alaska or Hawaii or something, it's $14.99 shipping. But other than that, you're good to go. And if you would like to do this, you need to go to that website. Now, is it actually worth it? Well, let me tell you how it works. You need to connect it to your phone. And then your phone needs to be able to connect via Bluetooth, USB cable, aux cable, something of that nature. Most typical vehicles are able to do so in cars. And if you're able to do that, you can connect it to the Spotify car thing. And once you did that, you need to connect the Spotify car thing to your 12 volt outlet for a power supply. Now it does come with several mounts, a CD mount, um, a vent mount, and some others. It has a four inch display. It also has a magnet that allows you to connect to the mount and you'll have the magnet on the car thing device. So another issue that you may run into is overheating. So if it's in front of the vent and you can look and Spotify themselves say, do not let air go across the top speaker simply because of the voice command issues that it could cause you. And just like I said, the overheating. And you may have experienced this with your phone. You might even ask, why not just use a phone? Well, it's supposed to make it more friendly user interface and it's not meant to compete with car infotainment systems, it's only supposed to help improve that experience. To answer some of your questions, you can use it with any navigation system as well as you can use it to receive your calls and notifications just like you always would and it'll pause it as you've seen with other apps and resume with the call, then resume with the music when it's done. Now your phone must have a data connection or Wi-Fi and I'm sure this is really meant to be used with older vehicles as most newer vehicles don't seem to have a lot of these issues but I know some of them still yet do this is one of their first products they've ever tried to promote other than you know some of their platforms online I think they wanted something that was more like a hardware that they could sell of course they always say their music comes first to their listeners however they're trying to step out into other parts of the game uh, you remember the Google Nest Mini and how they were providing this for free I did receive that one however I didn't even have to pay for the shipping so yeah that one's exactly free what do you guys think you think it's really worth it just a waste of money um, or will it actually help a lot of people out you know I'd really like to hear your opinion I know there's a lot of people that have other um, apps or devices they use within their car from uh, Google or other services. So it may not be best for them or Apple. Guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.